Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So in this one we are going straight into some of the mega builds. So several episodes ago when we built this tower of power, Ku is that a great idea that hey why don't you decorate this tower because it looks a little, little empty over here and I totally agree. So what he suggested was we could turn this into a watchtower which I think is a really awesome idea and I would love to try this as well. However, he also had another idea that we could turn this into hanging gardens. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I, I mean, I might be wrong, but for some reason I feel that this idea might have also come up in our previous series. Whether it was suggested by you or maybe it crossed my mind, I'm not really sure. But anyways, at that time we didn't quite have the same mods and we had very different building blocks as well, so we couldn't really build it. Now in this series we totally can because we have different mods, so that's what we are going to do. We're going to do the hanging gardens of power. Now a few things. We had to move a few stations around. So our dirt digger is right over here. And all of our production had to be moved up to the hill as well. So we have our metal production here. Treated planks. Lots of logs. Bit of biofuel but also dirt. And lots of haulers and builders as well. But alright. So let's uh, get straight into our time lapse now.
and a quick side comment as well we are unfortunately gonna have to interrupt the time lapse but we'll, we'll complete the rest of it as well don't you worry right so a few things um yeah blanks was probably one of the first things that did run out uh because we have these very big uh, let's bring back the ui those levies two by twos that take a 34 planks per uh, per one of those levies so yeah what i had to do was add a few more lumber mills so we've got a total of well, not a total of we added about six in here and we also had uh added a, quite a quite a few builder huts there as well just to help move things around a little bit quicker it seems yeah logs have gone down forest is pretty much decimated here as well what about district one no you are still pretty full okay well these haulers are quite busy moving stuff in here we could, of course, open another distribution center somewhere about here, yeah. And then uh, use these guys as well to move those logs around a little bit quicker. I think I might do it, actually. I mean, we don't have a lot of spare beavers here, but yeah, it might be just a temporary solution. Okay, another thing, if we bring all those levees down. So over here with the crown itself as well, what happened was... I wanted to initially do all the all the floors, all the ground first, okay, all the dirt blocks. But what I found was it was taking a little bit too long. Even with the we had three, there was one more here actually. Yeah, the third one is right over there. So we had three of them running, but we couldn't just keep up. Yeah, it was going very slowly. I mean, at this point, I have been recording this time lapse already for five hours, so. So yeah, wanted to speed up the things, but with that, once we started building levees, I had to I had two options: either pause every single bottom one or the the lowest one that we have, which I didn't really want to do. So yeah, they kind of started building randomly. I think with the beavers and columns from District One, it was pretty straightforward. They were all going through one way only, and they couldn't construct anything else unless until they had created themselves a path with the with the with the levees over here whereas with um, the columns in the hanging gardens of power they kind of were able to access everywhere and quite often they locked themselves out so i had to go in and start the leading levees just to let them out but yeah eventually we did manage to complete this whole thing and i think by that time as well we had at least a quarter of the levees already done so right now as well because the um, <laughs> the blanks ran out. Yes, we did add some more lumber mills. But what I also decided to do, I went around the, the 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 whole construction here. And as you can see here, we had the slightly bigger bigger levees. But then I decided to go with the smaller ones, just to speed up the construction process as well. Yeah. So all right, that's uh, I think everything for now. So we'll uh, continue with the time lapse.
And here we go. The last levy is almost in place. Ooh, that took a, took a very long time. So that's the foundation, essentially. This is not complete by, by no means. I think it took about, if I check the time real quick, uh, about 7 to 8 hours, including constructing of everything and uh, yeah, getting the resources ready as well. This 7 to 8 hours does not include the editing that will be a nightmare, plus also setting up this area, because that took me an, another, what is it, one or two nights plus figuring out how we want to build this exactly. I can predict a few questions that you might have, so I'll, I'll try and answer a few. First of all, why this location? Why not perhaps somewhere else if it's such a large monument? I was initially thinking, yes, we could perhaps build it over here, but then it would cover this uh, lovely lake that we do have here. I mean, it might happen in the future, we might cover it up, but for now I thought, why don't we place this more like in the corner of the map where we are not gonna really use or do anything. And uh, yeah, it seemed to fit here pretty pretty perfectly. We can do an extra one layer, it seems. If we want to, of course. But we, we, we shall see. Now, another thing that I wanted to... The reason why I chose this location is if I hide the water, there are a couple of water sources over here. Right, so the question you might have is, well, why did you place so many levees here and why not just go with like platforms and put some decorations on them? So I kind of wanted it to be a bit more functional as well. We are going to have quite a few batteries around the this, this area over here. And I did want this water to sort of rise, keep the area pretty uh, nice and green as well. And uh, I thought it would be cool if it sort of flows through the different uh, areas in here and then um, yeah it goes back to its original locations I mean of course we could have done it with platforms and maybe a lot less less of the levees as well and use the water dumps but I didn't want to have any columns or beavers working here I wanted it to be self-sufficient so this way I think we well I do hope we will achieve that now the last thing we do have to do here is of course we need to dynamite the way down a little bit where the batteries are going to be. Okay, it seems a couple of these are a little out of the range, but that's okay. We will export them from our main district and I'm sure we'll get the last couple of levels down as well. And there's also a few here. All right, so what happens next is we do need some decorations. So essentially what's going to happen, we'll have to very carefully construct due to the access. I mean, from here, yeah, we can pretty much access everything that we want to with some additional support. But from the forestry district, we are quite at the limit, it seems. Yeah, we have roads here, but they can't go any further. And same at the top. I mean, we can reach the most critical areas. So starting from the top, we'll work our way down. And um, yeah, so why don't we do that real quick as well? Okay, so there we go. I've put in a bit of a blueprint on or about how we want to do the decorations here, but also with the, the power management as well. So inside this tower, we do have some batteries actually hidden away and they will hold about 48,000. Whereas the outside ones hold a little bit extra. That's because they are just, uh, I think it's just a tile higher actually. Uh, so that one is gonna go all the way around wrap around this whole area once we are done with the decorations so the water sort of physics was a little funky here as well because I do have three sources and it was just overflowing uh, this whole area a little bit so I had to delete quite a few different sections and provide it a few more dams to let the water escape but okay, so now we are just going to repair and try and rebuild as much as we can. Something else seems to be pausing there. Oh, I do know what it is. I was going to put in a couple more levees to try and redirect the flow just a little bit, but it seems we have everything under control right now. So we might not even need to build this. Let me just get rid of you. Okay, there we go. Right, so that seems to be going pretty pretty well. And yeah, so there's two water sources inside this circle here. It goes, wraps around here nicely, goes inside and then into the tower. 
and then from this side it also does go around has access to both ways and then drops down a level and then it just goes all the way down here yes it's uh seems to be a little flat over here right now but I, th I think that's fine as long as the tower here is functioning as intended I'm pretty happy we can fix this up in a future episode okay now there's also another water source right about here yep just in this corner here let me actually hide the water there we go right here and this one goes around through here I am going to drop this a few more levels as well with the dynamites and then all the way around to these dams over here and then back to back to this exit right about there all right so there we go how are the decorations going all right so we do have a bit of a funky design in here i do like those decoration corners and by uh, combining them with the diagonal ones we we have a, also a shrub in the middle here so what i'm thinking we'll uh, duplicate it into all of those corners right so over here i think actually okay so that was the furthest one there we go we'll have a shrub over here it's a little trickier to do because we have to do it one by one since we are not accessing the middle bit here anymore i think yeah okay so we can start with the top actually as well because they can get around so let's do the shrubs at the top there and we do need one more just like so then we'll grab these corners and okay they fit pretty nicely as well but we are gonna have to pause them for just uh just a little while okay now at the top here i think we can also unpause most of the shrubs just like so why don't we speed up the time a little bit as well and uh, right in the middle we are gonna have of course flame of progress bit of a fire surrounded by all this all this water okay can we please get those ones done as well uh, things will be built pretty quickly since we do have quite a few uh, builders huts over there are you flooding as well no okay so that's fine how far are we so you are done unboss this one this shrub okay no but i hope they have the range if they come from there okay seems like it's fine we just got a delivery of one log okay we do have enough logs in this district yeah the log stockpile is slowly starting to build up again it was a little it was scary for a bit not scary to be honest it was more just slowing down our our building here okay we got another another section done probably easier if we give you a slightly higher priority so we can get these sections done a little bit quicker now whilst they are constructing those ones why don't we i think we should be able to place down these bits in here as well okay there we go this one can be done and i think same in this corner here as well I have to grab this shrub real quick and unpause that one. All right, so do we get a beaver constructing it? No. Okay, fine. Can do another piece in there, and once the flame of progress is done as well, that's gonna take 400 planks. So quite a bit of time to have it completed. I mean, right now, how many do we have? 2,500. So I don't think we have to worry about it too much. Uh, right, there we go. Another section done. You can be on post and probably slightly high. Actually, what's going to be easier if we highlight everything already. So every time we unpause something. Oh, not you. Okay, there we go. Are we going to be able to grab everything here? Yes, there we go. All right, so get those sections done as well. Now, this one's good. These ones, they will have access, right? Okay, I think everyone's uh, very happy to bring the logs to the Flame of Progress now. I guess they just want to have it completed as quick as possible. All right, we do have another section here. You're completing the other one as well. All right, so Shrub can go there. Now, as soon as you are done, we can do the other corner bits. All right, so let's grab the decorations again. Now, if you are wondering, these, even though they look like levees, they do not 
act as levees. They, they will let the water through, basically. Alright, so one over there. I initially thought they might be as levees as well, but I, I did test it out. They definitely let the water through. Uh, with the mod, actually, there are a couple different ones that to act, act as levees. So, oh, nope, that's not what we wanted to do. You can now be constructed, and I think we had one more. Okay, right about there. There we go. I sp oh, that was very quick. Well, you look at that. This means we can construct the last slope in, in here as well. And then we are missing a few pieces here. Okay, there we go. This one there, that one there. And I think we have to do the shrub before. Oh, wait a second. Now we don't have access. Yep, I think we messed up a little bit. Okay, let's take you out for a second. And you're going to go there. You're going to go here. And we'll give you a high priority as well so we can get them done a little bit quicker. Okay, is there still one over there? Uh, no, you don't have to be paused, actually. All right. But you are going to have to stay like this until we complete the last view. But yeah, so water seems to be fine. It's just this section here, which we will fix, of course. And now with the batteries as well, the way we are going to connect them up with our main grid. I don't want to do it from this side. And yes, okay, one more thing before we talk about power is we do have to complete this section here as well, but I didn't want to start constructing it because we needed this bit of access here. Right, so power, I don't want to do it from this side. And I don't want it to be visible. So we are going to do it from... Or actually access it from behind here. And then just step down. And connect up with the rest of the crate as well. And then uh, the next level is going to be a bit of decorations again. With some uh, shrubs and maybe some... I don't know. We'll probably get some of those decoration pieces. Then the next level after that. This one here is again going to be more batteries. We just first want to dynamite our way down. I guess technically we don't have to. We can just do it from this side as well. But yeah, we will definitely lower it as much as we can. Now, and the next section, again, decorations and the final one. I was actually thinking of putting a lot more of the windmills in here. I don't know how many we have to do, but I just want this tower to look a bit more busy. But yeah, other than that, I think it's going to look pretty uh, pretty amazing once it's 100% complete. I mean, for for now, I don't think we're going to complete everything in one episode because it takes just a very long time. So we will do a little bit now. Right, so most things are done now. Gets a little tricky accessing the, bo accessing the bottom ones as well because you can't quite click on it from the top. Oh, wait. Uh, no, we can. Never mind then. I don't think I wanted to unpause you. Okay, there you go. Uh, right, okay, so that's what the tower's gonna look like. I am just gonna try and complete the top level first, because it takes quite a bit of time to, to get it completed, and then uh, after that we can continue with the gravity batteries along the rest of the perimeter as well. All right, man, here we go. After a few droughts later, here's the final look of the design with some decorations on it. There's still a couple of levels that need a few more windmills, but also on the other side here, we do have a couple more batteries that we are trying to construct as well. We're just a little low on the gears right now. So yeah, bat batteries and the windmills are taking a little bit longer. But most of the other things are already in place, uh, except the some of the decorations here. But that's going to be there very soon as well. But yeah, so that's basically what it looks like if I bring back the UI right now with the wind. So that's the maximum, I believe. We are producing 15,000. So that's pretty good. I think, yeah, that should be enough for our colony. I have already taken out the... or removed the tower that we had here before as well because with this amount of batteries I don't think we are going to struggle I mean 
there's like, what is it, 3, 6, 9 on one side. So 4 times 9, 36, isn't it? And uh, yeah, the upper levels as well. We've got 5 per row here, so what is it, 20 around the perimeter. Plus there's another 6 inside this tower hiding away. They are about 48,000 per battery. So yeah, I don't think power is going to be an issue. I think overall it looks pretty lovely as well, as long as we get the other side done over here. So so yeah, thank you so much, Kuist, for coming up with this wonderful idea. I hope you have a few more for us for a couple of future episodes. There are a few things that I would also like to construct. So right now in the background, whilst I was building it, we were starting to build up this mountain over here as well. So there is something I'd like to do to connect those two mountains and perhaps... Well, we'll see really. We could even construct something around this area as well if you we want to. But the update 3 just came out a few days ago. So perhaps if we get at least one or two more monuments done, plus the entertainment in here, perhaps it is time to move on to update 3. I have reverted back to the older save just so I can continue playing this this map here because it seemed it broke pretty much everything. But yeah, it's uh, it is a huge overhaul, so that's that's fine. But yeah, let's cut the episode over here. It's probably quite a long one, so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.